Hello, in this video we are going to solve this problem. We have 2 power x plus 8 power x equals to 10. Let's start, we can have 2 power x plus 8. You can have it as 2 power 3 or power x equals 10. Then if you have a power n or power m is equals to a power m or power n. So we can have 2 power x plus 2 power x or power 3 equals 10 then we can say let m equals 2 power x so we are going to have m plus m power 3 equals 10 we can rearrange it and we can have m power 3 plus m equals 10 and from here we can also have let's move this over m power 3 plus m minus 10 equals 0. Now from here we can actually consider testing method. We are going to test for the value of m that will satisfy this equation. So we are going to start from when m equals 1 or when m equals 1. Let's use that. From here we are going to have this is m power 3 1 power 3 plus 1 minus 10 this is obviously not equal to 0 we have when m equals 2 this will give us 2 power 3 plus 2 minus 10 this equals 0 that means m equals 2 is one of the solutions and we can have it as m minus 2 equals 0 now let's find the other factors so what we are going to simply do is to divide we have m power 3 plus m minus 10 we divide it by m minus 2 so to carry out this division we are going to make use of synthetic method let's write out the coefficient of the numerator what we have here so you can have it as this is one this is one so we can have as 1 there's no m power 2 we have it as 0 here we have 1 and the constant is negative 10 then here we have m minus 2 equals 0 from here we have m equals to 2 so we bring down this 1 2 times 1 we have 2 0 plus 2 we have 2 then 2 times 2, we have 4. 1 plus 4, we have 5. 2 times 5, we have 10. Negative 10 plus 10, we have 0. So if you divide these two polynomials, you are going to have m power 2 plus 2m plus 5. So that means we can as well write this as m power 3 plus m minus 10 this actually equals to writing m minus 2 into m power 2 plus 2m two plus 5 and this is equals to 0 so that means we are simply going to have it as m minus 2 into m power 2 plus 2m plus 5 and this is equals to 0 so from here we can simply solve for m we have m minus 2 equals 0 or we have m squared plus 2m plus 5 equals 0 for the first part of the equation for this one we have m equals 2 like what we have done before so this becomes one of the solutions but recall we are going to get to that recall let me just write it here recall that m is equal to power x from this particular equation let me get us there here so that means 
we are going to have here m equals to power x and m is 2 we are going to have 2 equals to power x so this is raised to the power of 1 if you compare the exponent we are going to have x equals 1 this is one of the solutions for x now let's check let's solve this other quadratic equation to find the other solutions for m then obviously we need to check if this will give us a real solution or a complex solution we have m power 2 plus 2m plus 5 equals 0 now let's make use of discriminant we have this equals b squared minus 4ac if this is less than 0 that means it's going to give us a complex solution so that's what we are going to check take note of this condition so let's insert in from this particular quadratic equation if we make use of this formula method we are going to have a equals 1 b equals the coefficient of m that is 2 and c equals 5 so let's insert into this discriminant we are going to have discriminant equals b squared that is 4 minus 4ac we are going to have 4 into 1 times 5 and this simply means our discriminant e equals 4 minus 4 times 1 times 5 this is multiplication don't forget so this will give us 4 minus 4 times 1 times 5 is this is 20 and from here we have discriminant equals 4 minus 20 is negative 16 so from here the discriminant here is actually less than 0 this is less than 0 that means if you solve this further you are going to have a complex solution and we are not actually going to solve for complex solutions in this particular problem so we are only going to look for real solutions and the only real solution that we have had so far is simply x equals 1 so this is the only real solution for x now the next thing we are going to do is to check if this solution actually satisfies that equation so we have here check and let's record the problem let me get back to the original problem that we were given 2 power x plus 8 power x equals 10 so I get back to where to check we have 2 power x plus 8 power x equals 10 and from what we have solved we have discovered that x equals 1 is the only real solution so we are going to insert into this equation if we are going to get this 10 we have 2 power 1 plus 8 power 1 equals 10 obviously because 2 plus 8 equals 10 so that shows that this has actually satisfied this equation and this is the only real solution that we have so that is for the video thank you and goodbye